If you have a home lab running anything more than a couple of different services, then you already know how challenging it can be to keep track of them all. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an easy, customizable and lightweight dashboard to keep all of your web applications in one place and out of your bookmarks. This dashboard can be accessed from any device on your network and you can even use it as your browser homepage. We're going to use an application called Heimdall which can be run on almost any hardware, and I'm going to use my Raspberry Pi 4. Basically, Heimdall creates a website that you can add shortcuts to your applications on. As it can be accessed from any device on your network, it's better than a bunch of bookmarks that are tied to a single computer. Heimdall also has a bunch of what they call enhanced apps, which can give you information about the service from just a glance. Take Pihole, for example, where you can see some stats about your blocked connections. Heimdall is by no means the only dashboard out there. I know that people use others like Homar or Homepage, but I've been using Heimdall for a while now and get on quite well with it. Installing Heimdall is easy, but it depends slightly on your setup. We're going to use Docker Compose, but I will also show you how to use IoT Stack if you followed our Raspberry Pi IoT server video. Heimdall is nice and lightweight, so even a Pi Zero will have no trouble running this. Okay, so let's start with Docker Compose, which is the recommended installation method for Heimdall. I am SSH'd into my Raspberry Pi, which is running a clean install of Raspbian Lite. All of the commands that I use here will be listed on an article on my website, linked down in the video description. So, I need to install Docker, but if you do already have Docker Compose up and running, then skip to the next chapter in the video timeline. We can install Docker using the Docker install script. We download this script from get.docker.com using the curl command, and then we run it. It is always advisable that you have a look through what that script is doing before you run it, especially as root. Once installed, we are going to want to add our current user to the Docker group using the user mod command, so that we can use Docker commands without having to be the root user or sudoing. We'll have to log out and back in to apply these changes. To check Docker is installed, we can check the version using docker dash dash version. Docker Compose should already be installed with this installation script, and we can check that with docker compose version, and it should return the version. Now, I'm going to create a directory to store our docker compose file and all the other files that the containers will need. Simply create a docker dash compose .yml file and paste the following into it. If you already have a docker compose file running, then paste everything from line 3, including Heimdall colon, into your Docker Compose file. If you have multiple services, it's always useful to check that the ports you are using are not conflicting. Close the editor and start the composition using Docker Compose up. This will start the process of pulling the Heimdall image and starting the container. However, you may notice that if you exit this process, then the container will be stopped. Use docker compose up dash dash detach version of the command to run it in the background. And if we want our containers to start when the Pi does, in case it fails or reboots for a power outage or something like that, then we can use the command sudo systemctl enable docker. And I've also noticed that changing the restart to always in the docker compose yml file is a good idea. If you have IoT stack running on your system, this is a more straightforward process. Navigate to the directory that you have installed IoT stack in, open the menu. Select build stack and scroll down to find Heimdall and hit space to select. Then hit enter to build this stack and then go to docker commands and then start stack and the Heimdall image will be pulled and started. Now we can open up Heimdall. In your web browser, navigate to your Raspberry Pi or whatever device you're installing this on and you should be greeted with Heimdall. Here is the fun bit. You can add a new application by clicking add new application. And as an example, I'm going to add my router. Simply select the application type from the list and then add the URL of the router. Then hit save and I have a working shortcut from your dashboard. If you want to add another, navigate to the application list in the bottom right hand corner and select add. And I'm going to add Pihole. Select Pihole from the list and then add the URL of the Pihole admin page. You can save and see this added to your homepage. However, Pihole is one of those enhanced apps 
that has extra statistics that you can view without having to open the link. Scroll to the bottom of the page and enable the extra config. You can find your API key from your PyHole settings. Paste this token here. You can test it and you get a message saying that it could su successfully communicate. But in some cases that doesn't happen, like for me. And this can sometimes be fixed by using the IP address as opposed to the host name in the different URL field. And now you should be able to see your PyHole stats on your dashboard. If you want to customize this dashboard a little bit, then you can add your own background by going to settings, then edit background image and uploading one. You can also add a search bar to make this dashboard a really helpful homepage. Now I'm going to leave it up to you to add all your apps to this and make a really useful homepage slash dashboard. Let me know if you've enjoyed this video by leaving a like and a comment down below. If this video has helped you, then please consider subscribing for more. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, have a nice day.